Hey, hey, solo sportsters, we are here at Eastern Athletics to do a review of the Selenko Blackout Extended 28 inches. We're probably gonna have to film it on a wide angle lens just to show you the shots, but nonetheless, we're gonna tell you all about it, so check it out. For this play test, we decided to string the racket up with Selenko Confidential 2.0, which is a newer, versatile, copolyester shaped string at a tension of 54 pounds. The Selenko Blackout XTD 28 is one of two extremely long extended 28 inch rackets by Selenko. It has a head size of 100 square inches, an unstrung weight of 300 grams, which equals 10.6 ounces, a high swing weight of 336, putting the balance point at 12.9 inches, making it a very headlight racket. It has a variable beam of 23.5 by 26 by 23 millimeters. It comes in a stealthy black color, a lower tension range of 45 to 50 pounds is suggested on this stiff 70RA racket. The Blackout series from Selenko is designed for power and spin, and I was certainly getting that from the baseline. I saw the ball taking a huge arc with extra rotation on every shot thanks to that extended length, and I was really pushing my opponent back and getting tons of spin. I found that the power was more than I had on most rackets and certainly more than the standard 27 inch. The only issue I found is that being that it's a longer racket, the timing and contact was that much more difficult. So if I was a little late or a little early, it really manifested into a huge error. And I think with time, I'll be able to hone in on that contact and do a better job. But really in the first couple days of using this racket, it's really tough to time it right with this really long piece of a racket. When it comes to extended rackets, the initial thought is that most players think that they're going to reach and get some more tennis balls, and that's typically not the case. Sure, you might extend and put another return in play, or you might edge out another drop shot, but in actuality, what the racket is really doing for benefit is giving you a further distance and more centrifugal force. So if you have a racket head speed and you're swinging and you're hitting at maybe 50 miles per hour, the fact that this racket is an inch further away is gonna give you maybe another five, another 10 miles per hour of racket head speed. And that's gonna give you more power, less pain, less impact back on the elbow, and many more positives. The Selenko Blackout XTD28 is unlike any other racket we've play tested. 99.9% .9 of the rackets in production are 27 inches long and a very few are 27 and a half inches. Even less are those with 28 inches and currently Selenko makes the only ones in production and such a rare setup is not for everyone. The ideal player who can benefit from the racket is only someone with perfect timing and strokes. Other subcategories might be physically shorter players, players with two-handed forehands and pro players. If you have clean timing, a semi-western grip, world-class talent, and want added power and spin with an unreal advantage on the serve, then extended rackets might be for you. For those of you who can't handle the racket, not to worry. The racket will let you know quickly with mishits and errors that make it seem like you're playing tennis for the first time. If you have ever played with a full-on pro stock racket, you understand this concept. If you're still on the fence, love it or hate it, getting this racket on court is so much fun, even if it's not the perfect fit for you. At the net, as a tall player, I find I cover a lot of court and I'm stretching more than most. But with an extended racket, it might have been too much. Anytime the ball came at my body, it was very hard for me to get out of the way and still make a shot and get clean contact but certainly stretched out wide, I was getting a couple extra inches of coverage. So when there's that really tough passing shot, not only was I getting a racket on it, but I was putting the ball away, controlling it, and getting much more benefit.
Although you may not be receiving life-changing reach on your ground strokes, it certainly has a big difference on the serve. I found serving, I was able to hit more areas of the box, get certain shots out wide, and really increase my first serve percentage because I'm hitting the ball higher up in the air and getting a better angle over that net. Is racket length a big part of your racket selection process? What is the longest racket you've played with? Let us know in the comments below. Extended rackets are not for everyone, but are they for you? Let us know in the comments below. If you're still looking for that perfect racket, we can help you on the journey. Comment, watch our videos, and let our experience help you find the perfect weapon.